Welcome to the Nostalgic Multiverse. Hello fellow master builders and masters of spinjitsu alike. I am Nostalgic and normally people see me for my Thomas content. But then again, I collect other things too, such as Sonic. And for today and for today's topic, and is as evident with my OC, I am a fan of Ninjago as well. So let's move these two out of the way. And if anyone saw the short, good. You know what uh, you know what to expect in this review. If you didn't see the short, then I'm sorry. You'll have no clue what is going on here. So I bought three polybags today, and we are going to be reviewing them right now. So for the first polybag, we've got Lloyd's Sword Spinjitsu Training. Now, this came with a little Spinjitsu spinner thing in which you can just put Lloyd up here. And then you roll him on the ground and make him seem as if he's doing Spinjitsu. Then you have this little training thing here in which it will move its swords around in order to attack Lloyd. That's why Lloyd comes with this little blade here. Uh, hold on, let me just... There we go. Cut. Whatever. So Lloyd would have the blade in his hand and he would have to fend off this thing. But this Lloyd is actually a pretty interesting combination of minifigures. This is a combination between the Sons of Garmadon Lloyd and Legacy Lloyd, which is why it was titled as a Legacy Polybag, since it came with the Sons of Garmadon Lloyd with the Legacy Hood. Now, next, uh, uh, next polybag we have is from 2021's The Island, to celebrate 10 years of Ninjago. So, here is... Oh dear. So here's the quad bike and here's the minifigure it comes with. And uh, trust me, you can see a recurring theme with these polybags. These are all Lloyd related. Now the quad bike is pretty cool. It uses machetes in, uh, on the sides to make it a bit more threatening. And I do like the dragon handle being used as a flagpole top. And as for the quad bike, while I do like its colors, I think I like my mesh of colors for my quad bike a little better. And yes, as you can tell, this is from a previous, um, these are from two previous instances of me getting this poly bag. <laughs> because I did get this poly bag in the past, but now that I've gotten it for the third time in a row, I thought that this would be the best time to legitimately just go ahead and review it on YouTube. And as for Lloyd's Island figure, it's pretty good in detail, as always. You can see that this is obviously made for jungle-themed missions. And even more so, Lloyd has the headprint which allows him to blend into the plant life and such using camouflage. And I do like his two expressions, one where he's worried or serious, and one where he is very serious and angry, ready to attack as if he was a savage. Now, on to the final polybag, and as you can probably guess, yes! It is another freaking Lloyd polybag. This is the uh, this is the Ninjago Core Lloyd's Battle Mech polybag, and I'm gonna outright say it: this is a better set than the four plus Lloyd Mech that they gave us for Core in 2022. Alright, this is so much better. Like, it's small, but it has a lot more posability than the other one, I'll tell you that right now. The colors are all very nice and very akin to Lloyd, although I don't really much like the lime green on it all. 
And as for Lloyd himself, he has his core suit on. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty lackluster minifigure at this point that appeared in Dragon's Rising so that it can be considered canon. But it's still a good suit overall. And on the whole, I rate these poly bags as follows. This is a solid 7.5. Reason being that the Lloyd minifigure is like the one we get in all the core sets, but the core mech is so much better than in the sets. For Lloyd's quad bike, again, I'll give it a 7.5, and it's mostly due to the fact that we get this Lloyd figure in almost every set of the island. But it's still a pretty good minifigure design. Unlike this guy here, because, uh, all right, I'll admit it is a good design, but come on. Do, do we really want this repeated over and over again for literally a singular wave that was only produced for two years? And as for Lloyd's Spinjitzu training, I give it a 10 out of 10. Because the concept goes well with one particular set from the legacy wave in 2019 which was the spinjitsu training set which came with kai and nia and lloyd's mesh of suits here that being sons of garmadon and legacy it's better than nothing with that everybody thank you very much for watching this review of all these poly bags Featuring the one, the only, Lloyd fucking Montgomery Garmadon. This is Nostalgic, signing off. Reminding you all that nostalgia never dies. And there will be more reviews to come, whether it be of Thomas, Sonic, or Ninjago. Alright? Hell, there could even be reviews on cars, if we wish. So, with that, thank you very much, and goodbye.